friends. So if I look like I got hit by a train, it's because I feel like I got hit by a train. <laughs> um, Olivia has not been sleeping well the last couple of nights. Um, she spent the first five hours rolling around and crying and kicking and fussing and oh god it was bad and the same thing happened the night before and honestly it's just been a little bit of a nightmare but yeah so it was probably after one close to two when we both finally fell asleep um and yeah it's just no good this whole hand foot and mouth thing is horrible but I'm stir crazy. Olivia is getting a little bit crazy. So we decided to hop in the car. We're going to drive, get me some coffee. Ben should be home in a little while, hopefully. And I need to get with my mom about whether my mom's getting it, like starting a new job soon. And I need to see if she starts tomorrow or when she starts so that I know when I'm getting my babies back. Um, I just don't know when is safe to like have them around Olivia. She ha doesn't have a fever anymore, but um, she is, you know, she still has those blisters all over her and she seems to be still getting more of those blisters. So I'm um, not exactly sure how to navigate that. I need to call her doctor and figure that out. But yeah, that's what we're up to. I need caffeine, bad, like bad, bad. Yeah. So, the saddest thing just happened <laughs> and I'm sure so many of you mamas can relate get in the car get my sick child in the car because we need to get out of the house it's been a few days get all excited get Olivia pumped up start driving drive 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 start to pull in to the oh so wonderful place known as Chick-fil-a only to realize that it's Sunday. <laughs> Why is it that I only like, okay, let's be real. I like Chick-fil-A every day of the week, but on Sundays I have this like major craving for Chick-fil-A. Like this morning, I it was like I could just smell the chicken and I could just taste those french fries all crispy because I was getting there at 10 30 which usually I really like their breakfast but today I was just craving some french fries from them and I was like this is gonna be so good they're gonna be fresh because it's gonna be right when lunch switch like breakfast switches over to lunch they're gonna be so good and crispy and hot got this one all excited about some chicken and Nope. I started to pull it and I was like, God, they're dead, man. And then I was like, yeah, it's Sunday. Mm. Thankfully, my daughter was super gracious about it. She gets it. We can't all be perfect. So, we went to Starbucks. <laughs> Hello, Mama Dada. We got her a pink cake pop, a birthday cake pop, which she loves. Wow. Should have seen the look on her face when I gave it to her. So excited. No she wants another one. It's all gone, baby. You ate it all. No more peas. Oh, it's all gone. We'll have to get another one some other time, okay? And, and I switched up my order today. Got an iced caramel macchiato. <coughs> which I usually just get iced coffee, but I wasn't feeling it today. Someone's pissed that her cake pop is done. I'm sorry, baby. I'm not ready to go back home. Ben's on his way home from being out of town. So I really should go home and just start cleaning up the house. But that sounds like no fun. Mama. I guess we'll go home. Look. What are you doing? <laughs> are you being so silly? <laughs> you are so silly. Libby's got her blanket. You like your blanket? <laughs> that blanket is so soft. They do. Hey guys, I was just pulling some laundry out of the dryer and wanted to quickly talk to you about a company that reached out to me. They are called Kalulu Designs and they have been such a 
pleasure to work with. Um, so thank you Kalulu for reaching out to me and for sending me these products and I wanted to share these with you guys. Um, I've had them for a few weeks now. I told them that I wanted to give you guys like a straight up honest review. So I wanted to actually use the product for a few weeks before I came to you. And I have been nothing but impressed with this, um, with these items. So here we go. They reached out to me because they watched a couple of our videos and they saw that we had twin baby boys and a toddler girl and they asked if they could send me some of their um, muslin swaddle blankets which are 100% organic muslin cotton and not only are they beautiful but they are huge and at first I was a little bit hesitant because our boys obviously are older and we don't swaddle anymore but these are so versatile. You probably have seen them in a couple of vlogs but um, even Olivia likes them. Since she's been sick, she's been snuggling with one of them. She calls it her mermaid blanket because um, she likes to wrap it around her waist and her feet. And she, she's like, look, Mom, I'm a mermaid. But they are so soft and um, huge. They're 47 inches by 47 inches, and they're ginormous. So they can be used as, like, a nursing cover. They can be used as a car seat cover. And they are really soft, and they hold up really well in the wash. I've washed these quite a few times because with babies, you know, everything's nasty. And they also come with a little lovey. So I'm going to show them to you right now. So <clears throat> this is one of the, well, this is the lovey that came with the two muslin blankets, which I thought was so cute. It's just, it's the same um, cotton muslin fabric, but it's a little bit thicker. It's like double um, and with this little lamb head and it's so cute. And then here is the first blanket. And this is the one that Olivia calls her, um, her mermaid blanket. And I have this folded over so you can see I have a king size bed and it is pretty large like it's huge that's the back side um but they are so beautiful i mean come on you guys this is humongo um and then the second one is so cute these look like little teepees to me um i don't know if that's what they intended but that's what they look like they look like little teepees or little um hoof prints or something but they are so cute this one is like super soft but yeah again that's the back side and then the front side is so cute and they sent me a coupon code to give to you guys that is good till the end of October. Um, so I will have that linked in the description box for you. So make sure that you go and get that. I think that these would be perfect for any new moms, like to be completely honest. I think that they are so versatile. Like I said, they can be used as a nursing cover or a car seat cover or swaddling your baby would be so easy because there's so much fabric that it'd be hard for your baby to like really wiggle out. And then the second thing they sent me, and this is like... So it was perfect timing because I was just thinking to myself that I needed to get new crib sheets for the boys, but they sent us these crib sheets and they are organic um, jersey knit cotton crib sheets. Um, and they are so cute. They came in this bag here, which is like really soft and so cute. The little lovey fits right here. This is a bunny print and they are so soft. The boys have been sleeping on these and I'm, I mean, you moms can relate. I'm all about anything soft that your baby can lay on. So really soft. And again, these hold up really well in the wash. I've washed these also quite a few times because Jacob, for some reason, likes to throw up. Like, he likes to spit up his bottle in the middle of the night. And Jameson has booger problems. <laughs> but it's that same TP um, print and then a little bunny print, and they're gray. And then it came with this little lovey here, and it's really soft. It's the same material as the um, bag that it came in. Um, and as the sheets but I like it because it's thin and it's not big enough to be a blanket or to be a hazard for them while they're sleeping like if it gets over their face then it's like not an issue that they, they'll just it can't get wrapped around their head so I like that um, and it has these little knots on each corner which um, Jacob really likes to just like play with it and chew on and then the little head is just this like stuffed animal type material and then these cute long ears so I just thought this was so sweet so yeah I just wanted to share this with you guys I've been meaning to talk to you about it for a while but holy crap my kids got hand foot and mouth and life just got ahead of me but um, you definitely should check these out especially if you are an expecting mom or you have a friend or family member who is expecting I think that these would be um, really great gifts and they're really inexpensive so it would be um, perfect for a baby shower gift. But anyway, back to the vlog. Ben's home. Boop. <laughs> All right, Livy, you ready? We're gonna go, where are we going? 
We're not going to banana. Where are we going? Are we going to the store? <laughs> going to the grocery store? All right, let's do this. Let's do this thing. Come on, come on. Come on, Daddy. Just Dude, it. your camera looks so tiny versus the one I was around all weekend. Okay, we're gonna taste this. Oh, it didn't focus. Yeah. And we already tasted this. It's elderberry flower and rose lemonade. This one's actually really good. It kind of tastes like perfume. And we're gonna taste this. That we already tasted, and it's really good. Okay, so here we go. And we're gonna taste this. Oh, that's Olivia's cheese. Smell it. Yeah, it smells like apple cider vinegar. Cinder, cinder, <laughs> apple cider vinegar. But it's apple just, cider cinegar. That you can smell the cinnamon. I'm gonna drink this one. Is it good? It's, it's really not you shake bad. It? No, you, you don't have to shake it. You sure? Yeah, it's supposed to be really good for you too, because you know apple cider vinegar is really good for you. Wow. That is really good. It's mild. I wonder how much a actual. Vinegar's in there. Uh, well, let's find out. Did you already open this? Mm-hmm. I took a sip of it. Oh, it has a Bible verse on it. I like this company. Um, yeah, I like it too. It doesn't say how much. Let's just. Apple how much was that? Vinegar, like a dollar and something. This is very good. Oh. Let's go, Colin. She puts her straw all the way down in it. Baby, why'd you do that? Oh, look at that. Here, get it and we'll pour it in here. I'll fix it. Give it to Daddy. One, two. Don't break it. Oh, there's like not anything in here. I'll put it in your cup. I'm a model. <laughs> Y'all look at my new rug. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. A grocery haul for y'all. We got vegetable broth, tomatoes, uh, these things, fruit snacks, cereal, half and half, kale, lettuce, Avocado, quinoa and kale, milk, trail mix, mushrooms, barbecue cleaning tool, teriyaki, Earl Grey, beef broth, pasta, cold brew concentrate, chocolate chips, celery, onion, taters, chuck rose, chicken, beans, chips, crock pot bags, more beans. More beans. More beans. Soup. Soup. Chicken breath. Cheese. More cheese. Turkey. Bananas. More potatoes. Carrots. Green onion. Sandwich bags. Tortillas. 
quinoa, garlic salt, deodorant, gluten-free flour, dawn, garlic, dino nuggets, dino nugs, gluten-free bread, cilantro, cauliflower. Let's see your mouth today. Uh, Look up. Let me put medicine on your face real quick. Okay. Look at mama. Look at mama. Let me see you. Oh, okay. Okay. Okay.